And hello folks, it is I, Kamikaze. I'm here to try and bring you a quick fix for a couple errors that I was receiving, which include your rendering device has been lost, application closing, and out of video memory, trying to allocate a rendering resource. Make sure that your video card has the minimum required memory, try lowering the resolution, and are closing the other applications that are running. Exiting. The two games that I was trying to play was Overwatch and Players Unknown Battleground, but it was also happening in Shadow of War and pretty much any uh, graphics intensive game, and I really could not figure out why. It took quite a bit of research and so forth. Uh, people kept saying, you know, uninstall the drivers, reinstall the drivers. If you've tried all of that and you haven't messed with a paging file, this video may help you. If you've tried messing with a paging file and it doesn't help, unfortunately, uh, this video is not going to help you. So first of all, what I'm going to do is show you how I, I figured this out. First of all, we go into the uh, device manager, uh, not device manager, our task manager, and go over to the performance tab. From here, what I found out is that obviously my graphics card has 11 gigs of memory, but underneath it, it shows 8 gigs of shared memory and a total of 19. I don't know how to change this, but I assumed that this was actually being based out of my RAM, because any time that this went over 8 gigs, the game would crash. And so I'm just putting 2 and 3 together and getting 7 to figure out what was going on. So I found out I don't have a paging file. If you have a solid state drive, you may not want to put it on solid state drive because it'll eat up your read and writes, but you can do that if that's your only option. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to do that. You end up opening up your PC, you know, my PC, blah, blah, blah. And from there, you uh, right click this PC and you go down to properties. You can't see me click properties because it's not popping that up. But after you click properties, it brings you to the next place, which is the uh, system basic information about your computer. You go over here to advanced system settings. When you click that, it takes you to the next window, which here you want to make sure that you're on the advanced tab because the advanced tab is what you uh, need to go over to performance, visual effects, memory usage, and virtual memory. So after you click settings, the next page that it takes you to is this one. And from this one, what you need to do is go down here to virtual memory and click change. As you can see, I have a paging file now, but I didn't have one then. So I've set mine to 12 gigs because I stuck in an old hard drive and I'm just going to use it for a paging file. So after you click change, it'll bring up this window. This window is how you change your virtual memory. Um, if it's already set for automatic, then you don't have to, you shouldn't have to deal with anything, but it could say down here that you don't have any paging file. It's best to just pick your drive. I picked this one which has, you know, ridiculous amount of space left over, and it shows custom size. I slapped down 12 gigs as the minimum and 30 gigs as the maximum. That is way more than I would need in order to uh, alleviate any kind of memory overflow. You click set, you click OK. It may or may not ask you to restart your computer, but it's always good to restart your computer anyway to make sure that it takes effect. I also found out that you cannot set this up on a USB drive. It kept coming up every time it started that it had an error creating the paging file. So best recommendation is do it with an internal drive. After I did this, it fixed my problem. I no longer got either of the errors in any game whatsoever. So if you've tried everything else and tried the paging file, if it still doesn't help you, I do apologize. I'm just hoping this helps a lot of people because this has worked on AMD uh, graphics cards and NVIDIA graphics cards because it's not actually the graphics card fault in what's going on. Um, there's a lot of other fixes out there. Uh, I hope one of them will solve your problem because this like killed me for like a week.